Hi, I'm Maslah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make Harissa Shamiya. We all know the Middle East loves their desserts, and many of them are semolina based. We've had it with coconut, stuffed with cream, and even used condensed milk instead of syrup. I've made several variations of semolina cakes, known as Harissa, Basabusa, or Namura. These names are used by different Arab countries, and they each add their own touch and version of the semolina cake doused in sugary syrup. Each of these cakes have their own flavor, but what they have in common is the use of semolina and how delicious they are, of course. Today I'm making the Syrian version, most famously made in the city of Aleppo. What sets this one apart is the crunchy pistachio topping, and as soon as I saw the pistachios, I knew I had to make it. This harissa not only has a different texture to other versions because of different topping, but also because of the way it's mixed and the variation in ingredients. The syrup is your standard sugar syrup used in most Middle Eastern desserts. The most important rule is mixing the sugar until it's dissolved before it comes to a boil to avoid any crystallization. You also want to make sure your syrup is room temperature before pouring it over the hot cake so that it's absorbed properly. Semolina based cakes usually involve adding the ingredients to a bowl and mixing with a wooden spoon or spatula. But in this version, the semolina is rubbed with the butter to make sure each grain is coated. This leaves you with a denser, silkier texture than other versions of the cake. The water is then added gradually. The mixture is then treated as a dough, as it's left to rest for a few hours before baking. You'll definitely feel the difference using this method. Then, pour it into a baking dish, brushed with tahini paste. This gives the sugary cake some balance and stops it from being too sweet. Press the pistachios into the batter and bake until you have a lovely, slightly golden crust. Soaking the pistachios in water is what keeps them from burning while the harissa bakes. The secret to getting the syrup absorbed into the dense cake is to cut it 5 minutes after it's removed from the oven and then adding the syrup. Serve this with a cup of steaming hot tea and enjoy this delectable dessert.